I think we need to really step back a little bit and think about what does corporate social responsibility mean and what does leadership in that mean? Because what you really require is a whole new set of skills that I don't think we've been teaching very well either in businesses or in business schools. Well, my name is Peggy Cunningham. I'm the director of the Corporate Social Responsibility Program at the School of Business at Queen's University. <laughs> The National Mentoring and Program involves Molson sponsoring seven different students at Queen's who have written proposals and competed for jobs in not-for-profit organizations over the summer. And then in addition to that, our students work throughout the year uh, with Molson's leadership team in the National Mentoring Program. And those leaders at Molson mentor our students. Molson's in terms of engaging with not-for-profits. Instead of writing a check, they're creating an internship where they're creating sort of a living, a living case study for a student to go in, work on a problem, and resolve a problem over the summer. And so for our students, really getting to engage with their mentors and engage with these not-for-profit organizations is very valuable. I knew that Molson was one of the bi big beer companies in Canada. Then once we were introduced to the program, I realized that there's a huge philanthropic part of the company and they do a lot for the community. They really care a lot about young student development and developing business leaders for tomorrow. I'd be very grateful for them for giving me this opportunity and for supporting me to be able to um, participate in a job like this in the summer. This is an intern work. I don't photocopy. I don't get people coffee like a lot of summer students do. I'm actually responsible for the work that I do and I'm accountable for it. Um, for this company, obviously, it's given that I'm a summer student and my salary is paid for by Molson. They're getting a student to work here and be dedicated to the job and without having to put forward the financial um, means that are usually required for most students. The, the big benefit of having a student is that uh, it puts manpower behind the, the programs. And from there, she's going to get the opportunity to work with some great people and learn our business a little bit uh, and contribute to our success. And as well for Molson, I think it's just a, a great um, opportunity for them to, to give back as well to the community. I mean, how do you mentor somebody else? How do you act as a leader without overwhelming somebody that's in a very different role? How do you transfer a lot of the knowledge that you've got in your head, but do you articulate it and make it usable by somebody else like a student? They have given Troy the responsibility to work with us. I got to tell you, he, he has surprised me with some of the things that um, he has come up with. One of the things that he's doing right now, he walks through the house league and gets all these signatures from the parents. Sorry to interrupt you guys. My name is Troy. I work with The Heart. I went around to all the people that live in North York, mm -hmm. asking them to sign this petition saying they support such a project. Basically what they're doing is they're trying to work in partnership with the government to get an indoor soccer facility built in this community. Well, The Heart is, is, is a fantastic volunteer group in the community. They've been around for, for over 30 years. <laughs> And they play a very, a very important role as far as developing the kids on the field and off the field. It's all about development. It's all about shaping the characters and the lives of these children that one day are going to be the citizens of tomorrow's society. But unfortunately, they do have some pro problematic areas that have challenged them. One of the major things that they've been trying to work on for 10 plus years is acquiring an indoor soccer facility in this neighborhood. And what Molson's been able to do is they've been able to connect us with, with key and influential people in the city and my job is, is to sell the club's proposal to these key city officials. If he can use the strength of Molson's plus his knowledge from the department at Queens and, and Commerce to help us get this sponsorship, this will go a long way. And I really want the city councilor to know that there is the support and there is the backing of all the members of this community. They want this to happen and this is something that needs to happen to benefit the, the needs of these kids not only during the summertime but during the wintertime. They need a place to play all year round. The programs that we run for these kids are that beneficial and they're going to stick with them for life. And I'm willing to, to work these fields every night if I have to and I get 3,000 signatures and I'll present it to the city councilor and he can't come back to me and tell me that his constituents don't want this indoor soccer facility.